Now I'd like to introduce um, Andy Lowry and Sarah Parker, and they are with the Eth Ethical Metalsmiths Students Group. And they're going to tell you about that program, but these guys are representative of the future of what we're trying to accomplish. And so, you know the thing about students is that we only teach them a little. Mostly they teach us. So, thanks for being here, you guys. Hi. <laughs> is that on? Can you hear me? Yeah, thank you, Sarah. Sarah. Good morning, everyone. Um, as committee members for the Virginia Commonwealth University chapter of Ethical Metalsmith students, Sarah and I are here today to present an ongoing project that is connecting student makers to ethical metalsmiths and also to the conversations of sustainable and ethical practice that we're talking about this weekend. Um, we'll briefly introduce ourselves and then we'll talk about that work. Um, the images we have to show you today are images of student work that is part of an annual an exhibition so fresh and so clean and we'll just have the background while we speak. My name is Andy Lowry. I'm a Master of Fine Arts candidate at Virginia Commonwealth University. Uh, I'm an artist from Australia and I use my education in jewelry and metalsmithing Ooh, is that? to build my practice around craft, history uh, and visual and the visual language of adornment. Hi, my name is Sarah Parker, and I'm a first year MFA at, um, student at VCU. I received my BFA in painting and metalsmithing from Appalachian State University in 2014, and I use fabricated steel settings to create found object assemblages that are often wearable. As graduate students at VCU, oh, sorry, as graduate students at, oh. Now, now if you screw up, it's you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll use my outdoor voice. Um, as graduate students at VCU, we are invited to participate in the student arm of Ethical Metalsmiths, appropriately called Ethical Metalsmiths Students. Um, and EM Students was founded by four graduate students at VCU in 2013. It is now represented by two chapters and over 90 student members. One chapter is maintained through the graduate program at VCU and one in Australia at Griffith University's Queensland College of Art, Jewelry and Small Objects Department, established by Ethical Metalsmiths Advisory Council member, Dr. Elizabeth Shaw. It's not by chance that Sarah and I chose to study at VCU. We became aware of the graduate program there when we participated in a radical jewelry makeover project and met Susie Garnch. Those familiar with Ethical Metalsmiths will know that this program was co-founded by Susie and Ethical Metalsmiths co-founder, Christina Miller. Radicalized by the waste of the jewelry industry, Susie and Christina created a project that encourages wearers to turn unwanted jewelry back into raw material by donating it to RJM workshops where professional, fledgling, and student makers use their craft to save it from the waste stream, adding new value to it as recreated jewelry. This project travels to new institutions yearly, sharing and developing ideas of ethical and sustainable practices. By invitation from Elizabeth Shaw, Susie and Christina brought the program to Australia in 2010, where I participated, and in 2012, at an iteration of the project in Boone, North Carolina, Sarah had the chance to participate. Many metal students meet Susie this way. She, or, um, and the ones that end up in the graduate program at VCU, like Andy and myself, typically share her passion for ethical practice and genuinely want to join the conversation and make a difference in our own way. It is no surprise that EM students began at VCU. 
and it's very encouraging to watch it grow there and throughout the United States and around the world. The EM student's mission is to inspire students to think critically and ask the right questions about studio practices as they relate to environmental and personal health. As a group, we aim to promote com conversations regarding wise studio practices at the educational level early in a metalsmith's career. We believe that coupled with the volume of students in any given studio, the co this conversation will create a capillary effect of awareness in the field. We have developed projects that give students a platform to share the variety of ways they implement, they implement ethical studio practices. Our longest running and most well known is an annual online exhibition uh, of student work and, emerging, and an emerging artist award called So Fresh and So Clean. At VCU, graduate students become the leading members of the VCU chapter of EM students and are responsible for facilitating this exhibition and award. Under the guidance of its founder and EM board member, Lucy Derrickson, graduates are tasked with taking the reins from their predecessors and creating a, um, a new exhibition as engaging, if not more, than the previous ones. With So Fresh and So Clean, we ask students to examine what it means to be an artist in the 21st century and we curate their, responsi their responses in the most innovative jewelry and metalsmithing world wor work made in the past two years. We offer the guidance that completely sustainable practice is an ever-evolving goal and that the first step to becoming aware of the ways of um, our working impacts environmental and human health. It adds an important layer to this to the creative decision making of artists. Through the lens of sustainability, So Fresh and So Clean challenges students to investigate their studio processes, methods, and personal goals. This exhibition is published every September on, ethical, uh, on the Ethical Metalsmiths website, showcasing students who have unique, thoughtful, challenging, well-made, and exciting work that demonstrates their ideas of best practice. With a call for entry that is broadcast through social media and email or posted directly to educational institutions around the world, we ask students to submit well-documented do objects and projects to the exhibition. As part of their application, we ask them to write a brief maker statement as well as statement addressing what their relationship is to ethical practice and describe how they turn thought into action in the studio, in their work, and in dialogue with people and concepts. We named three award recipients under the titles of Emerging Artist, Juror's Choice, and VCU Committee's Choice. Each title comes with a cash award sponsored by the Richline Group, Rio Grande, and No Dirty Gold, respectively. Our emerging artist is also given a separate profile on the EM website with the opportunity to show more work, include a full statement, and give an interview that is published later in the year. Each year, we invite a guest juror to work with the VCU chapter to select exhibited work from the applications we receive. They help select the emerging artists and are the solo juror for the Juror's Choice Award. Having a guest juror is an opportunity to invite a professional voice into the project that we believe reflects the mission and values of the exhibition. We typically invite a prominent educator, curator, or arts worker to contribute to the quality of its curation and the student perception of the ex exhibition as a professional opportunity. The online exhibition format is used as a as it meets metal students' expectations for the type of experiences sought out during their time of study. They look for opportunities to show individual works that showcase the best of their abilities as makers and thinkers. They are starting to build an audience for their work, meet the expectations of professors and their programs, participate in professional exhibiting practices, and find validation for their work within metals, jewelry, and artistic communities. As part of these communities ourselves, we know that there are many students who are sharing our interest in talking about the definition of an ethical practice and turning it into action in the studio. So the aim of So Fresh and So Clean is to recognize and highlight this activity and dialogue. Every fall, the VCU chapter members gather to reflect on the previous year's exhibition and in conversation with Lucy Derrickson, we discuss what worked well, what we might change, and what trends we noticed in applicant behavior the year before. Was our call for entry for the exhibit too narrow or too broad? Sometimes we notice that if we suggest what might constitute an ethical practice, we only receive entries from students 
who can address these specific su suggestions. We want to create room for students to have their own voice and contribute their own perspective, but we also want to exhibit work that clearly demonstrates ethical intention. To this goal, the jury has to work together to curate thoughtful exhibition, not just a flashy one. Our 2019 guest juror, Sarah Rachel Brown, is a contemporary jeweler and host of the award-winning podcast, Perceived Value, which is a podcast produced in which Sarah interviews artists about their careers, personal lives, failures, and accomplishments, and asks the question, how did you make it all happen? With true ethical metal spits ethical metalsmith's spirit, Sarah advocates for radical transparency, talking about the highs and lows and the real cost of a creative career. Having Sarah join the So Fresh and So Clean team this year gave the project an added dimension that only she could provide. After accepting our invitation to jury the exhibition, she offered to broadcast the call for entry through her podcast, as it aligned so well with her interests in affecting positive change and radical transparency. She then traveled down to Richmond to interview Lucy Derrickson about her work with EM and EM students. This interview was broadcast just weeks before the deadline for applications to So Fresh and So Clean. And as a result, the project had a record response, receiving 98 submissions from around the world. The EM student social media also received increased visibility, and we were able to introduce more young makers to ethical metalsmiths. If you would like to listen to this episode of the podcast or any others in the back catalog, simply search for Perceived Value in iTunes or your smartphone podcasting app. Last year, the project received a bulk of submissions from students who spoke about responsible actions they were taking in the studio, such as switching from paper towel to reusable rags, using citric pickle, and prioritizing hand tools over power tools. We love their answers, and our resulting exhibition was full of great content, but it was hard to see these actions in the photographic documentation of the work. So this year, we simplified our call, asking students to speak about how small actions can have a big impact. This year's responses range from social justice issues to responsible sourcing of precious metals and stones, to, uh, to using alternative materials sourced from waste streams, bedrooms, and even social media content. Their responsibility statements are included with images of the, images of the work in, a, in the online exhibition, available as an idea-generating resource for all. The hive mind approach of an exhibition like So Fresh and So Clean means that fresh ideas about clean practices are plentiful creating opportunities for collective learning. The awards this year went to three fantastic young makers. The Committee Choice Award, sponsored by No Dirty Gold, went to Maya Rose Weiss, earning her BFA at the Pratt Institute. The Juror's Choice Award, sponsored by Rio Grande, went to Mizuki Tochigi, an undergraduate at Central St. Martins. And the top accolade of 2019 Emerging Artists, sponsored by Richline Group, went to Catherine Jastobsky, a Master of Fine Arts student at Rhode Island School of Design. Each winning work represents a different approach to material use and concept of responsibility. Mizuki Tochigi asks purchasers to sign a promise that they will commit to an act of ethical responsibility in exchange for her work. Catherine Jastobsky works only with scrap steel and makes her work as a kind of portraiture in response to a series of interviews she holds with steel workers from the places that she sources her material. Maya Rose Weiss rejects metal altogether and instead crafts her objects from natural fibers with a commitment to working without gas or electricity. Her slow approach to making helps her find form and pattern while she makes. The caliber of student work this year really impressed us and has us thinking about the reach of the project and the opportunities we can offer to audiences and participants. We would ideally like to see the project manifest in a physical space and have our minds on this, on this way of making um, in the future. We'd really like to show our appreciation for Susan, Andrea, and the Chicago Responsible Jewelry Conference team for inviting us here this weekend to share this work with you guys. Thank you for giving us this Project, thank you for giving us um, your attention today with this project. 
If you have any questions for us, feel free to find us and ask. Um, and we also have So Fresh and So Clean 2019 exhibition posters and Make It Ethical stickers um, to hand out. And I should also say we are both decked out in RJM student jewelry. So um, we're representing all of our work. <laughs> Thank you so much.